This is Winneraramy Bay on Pitwater. Originally a mangrove and salt marsh swamp, the state government tried to develop it for housing in the late 1960s. The attempt failed. A bridge was then built to access the environmentally protected land on the other side of the bay. This was declared a flora and fauna reserve and named Kurawal, the local indigenous word for bandicoot. Today, salt marsh can only be found at a few locations in Pitwater. Rescue of the Kurawal salt marsh required complete excavation, removal of weeds and turf and replanting. Cassiarinas don't mind wet feet and they tolerate salt water too, making them the perfect companion for salt marsh. It's an important consideration in low-lying areas that are subject to saltwater intrusion during extreme weather events. Kunzia ambigua. Lamandra longifolia. Hibertia scandens. Melaleuca hypericofolia. Coastal wattle is flowering behind clumps of Isolotus nodosa, a sedge. Late summer and autumn morning sometimes coat spider webs with a heavy dew that catches the early light. There's some beautiful clematis here. It blooms in September, but it doesn't last all that long. When we build these piles of broken lantana, we try to make sure there aren't any weeds left underneath. However, these piles are a good place to plant running postmen because it's so vigorous it can overwhelm many shrubs. Its flowers are simply gorgeous. This is a plant that came here by itself. It's the kangaroo apple and it's one of the solanum family and it has these purple flowers and small berries which become much larger and bright orange colour. This is one of our beautiful native vines. It's called snake vine and the way you identify it is that the stem comes off the middle of the plant and not on the edge of the leaf. This is native spinach also known as Warrigal Greens. It's an edible plant, once fashionable in Europe where it was known as summer spinach. The nymph of the spittlebug creates a white, frothy secretion to protect it from dehydration and from parasites and predators. In fact, when you look closely, all sorts of things are going on like these fungi, which break down dead organic matter to become food for surrounding plants. This lovely potosporum is a great self-seeder. It's flowered profusely this year and in autumn will have beautiful yellow seed pods that split open to show bright red berries. Nearby, high in the casuarinas, are these beautiful rat's tails orchids. They flower in August and are slowly spreading into the forest. 